one of the most unpredictable periods of the millennium is currently upon us. The coronavirus epidemic has altered how we socialize, make investments, make purchases, and most significantly, conduct business. There is no question that this isn't just a temporary slowdown in the economy. This goes beyond that. This is a time of transition. This video's primary objective is to broaden your understanding the significance of change, the tendencies that will endure, and how to adjust to them. Hi, and welcome to the Wisdom Mentor channel, where aspiring millionaires choose to spend their time. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss out on great content like this to meet your dream self. Think about how society could have seemed 1,500 years ago. We have two people and are at the start of the Middle Ages. The first is a nobleman and the second is a common craftsman who makes and sells swords as a means of support. Which one do you believe has greater sway then? It is obvious that the aristocratic figure is more powerful, and this is just a result of his birth into the appropriate family. And that's still the deciding factor today. Owning a lot of assets might mean the difference between leading a happy life and one that is miserable. The aristocracy, the clergy, and the peasants made up the three classes of society in the Middle Ages. Additionally, they held the view that it was crucial to perpetrating this separation and for them to continue living in the socio-economic class into which they were born. As a result, it was nearly impossible for someone to rise from a low position in society to a higher position. If you were born a noble, you would live that way and have those rights. If you were born a peasant, you would live that way your entire life. In those days, the class you were born into determined your status for the rest of your life. That's not the case right now though. Even if you start out with nothing, becoming wealthy and prominent is now simpler than ever. And practically all millionaires in our culture fit that description. For instance, Credit Suisse estimates that there are 18.6 million millionaires in the U.S., and 80% of them are self-made, first-generation millionaires according to Investopedia. Therefore, only 20% of millionaires in the United States inherited their fortune. The other 80% acquired it by self-made means. In contrast to the Middle Ages, when a person's wealth was mostly determined by their ownership of property and title deeds, information is the ultimate money maker in this century. Number 1. Health Before the pandemic, shaking hands, holding hands, and hugging friends were all completely acceptable social behaviors. People are now, however, extremely cautious about making physical contact with anyone. Everyone, or at least the majority of individuals, abides by the social distance norms and maintains their sanity at all times. With everything going on, it should come as no surprise that a lot of companies utilize safety as their main selling pitch to persuade customers to use their services or purchase their goods. For instance, if you own a restaurant, I'm very certain you want to abide by safety regulations and you want your tables to be immaculately clean and sterilized. All of this is done to make sure that customers aren't frightened when they enter your business. To gain a competitive advantage at this point, you might even wish to promote the fact that your restaurant is cleaner and safer than any other restaurant. 
A restaurant will need assistance if they want all of this to happen, and that's when you appear out of nowhere with a polite phone call informing them of the benefits of using your cleaning and sanitizing services. It's crucial to keep in mind what firms are looking for when you launch one of these businesses. Particularly in the tourism industry, they strive to not just be clean, but also to be perceived as clean by potential customers. Therefore, in addition to cleaning services, you also need to give businesses a plan for launching safely and publicizing the new adjustments. This service is still in high demand from many firms, not just in the tourism industry. And with the right innovation, this market demand can still be fully satisfied. Number 2. Agency for Social Media Marketing A social media marketing agency is nothing more than an advertising firm that concentrates on driving sales for companies using a variety of strategies and campaigns on the most popular platforms. They are also known as SMEs. All these agencies have emerged as the result of the epidemic, which has caused many businesses to want to move to the internet. I'd even describe it as a trend because there are so many. Due to the intense degree of competition, it's probably not a good idea to launch a social media marketing company right now. However, the market has a lot of potentials, and getting started doesn't even require a big investment. Number 3. Logistics By 2023, the logistics market is anticipated to grow to a value of $12.2 trillion, according to Valuate's report. Despite being a significant and rapidly expanding industry, there isn't much discussion on logistics and package delivery on YouTube. The primary operating principle is to deliver things and charge a fee for each item that is delivered. Since carrier enterprises heavily rely on economies of scale, the income to expenditure ratio is substantially better if 100 things are delivered to the same location than if there is only one. Customers could be a company that needs certain things to function or regular people who shop online. Clearly, this is a market segment that will thrive despite the pandemic. In fact, it will expand even more quickly. This will undoubtedly occur because more and more individuals are choosing to buy goods online rather than through more conventional channels like brick and mortar businesses and shopping malls. Before the epidemic, few people trusted online buying. But because of the new health laws that the pandemic brought about, businesses were forced to use the internet to serve and attract customers. There were typically just two choices, go outside and run the danger of contracting an infection, remain at home and rely on internet purchasing. And because the majority of individuals went with choice two, they learned about the convenience of online shopping and haven't switched back to it. In fact, this is a trend that is spreading across the globe. Staying informed is the most crucial thing you can do right now to boost your business game. I'm not referring to news dreck and pointless stuff. I'm talking about true knowledge that will be helpful and essential to your success. You're actually in luck because we've made a commitment to this channel to provide all aspiring millionaires, professionals, and business people with extremely beneficial stuff. The Wisdom Mentor is for you if you want the appropriate mindset 
and ability to increase your income and have a better, happier life. Subscribe today and you'll never regret it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the following video.